Hello. Kendra here with a DIY rescue thread up box. They taped this up like crazy. I cut the front part. I'm gonna cut the sides live here. Um, I started wreath selling a year ago. I've become obsessed with these thread up boxes. I think I need to chill out a little bit, but they're so fun. They've been having sales. Um, I'm changing up my background a little. I thought this might make it a little more minimal. This is a painting I found the Upper East Side on the street. I cleaned it up. It's made in the Depression era. It's a little creepy, but I just want to explain why it's here. Um, it has a signature. I've looked it up. I haven't found any information. But um, what else? I don't know. Let me cut into this and I'll keep chatting. Uh, the DIY designer boxes. I have had some really good ones. Wow, it's a lot of noise. Um, and I've had some really odd ones. And I've always wondered, like, what does this setup look like at ThreadUp? I wonder if there's videos. I do have to say, I did go on their site recently. I was obsessed with a lot of their environmental um, messaging and collabs with clothing lines. Yeah, designer rescue box. I do have a 25 mixed box of women's clothes. I might do a video on that too, because I've never gotten one before. Well, this doesn't seem to be much in this box. It makes me nervous. Like. Look, all this was in there and you know how small the box was. Like, like what? All right, so here's first peak. I love the way, Swan oh, this is from Swanee, Georgia. So I love the way Swanee, Georgia always packages things up nicely. Let me open up the sticker here. Ooh, do I have a swimsuit new with tags? That's interesting. Very seasonal. So this looks like a swimsuit and I see a tag. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. I see Rag and Bone, which is not the great. I personally kind of like Rag and Bone, but it doesn't resell well. So is this just a top? So they sent me just a bikini top. Myra, I have, do not know this brand, and I'm pretty good with brands. It's Myra, Myram Nasser Zeta. I have to look that up. I don't know if that qualifies as designer. Whoa, dang. Okay, <laughs> the price kind of shocked me. Harmony tank, optic white. So it's not a swimsuit, so that's good. And I like that it's new with tags. And it's just sort of a crop top. Like maybe I could mark this Coache Coachello. I have a friend's husband who's working on a job there right now apparently, and that's what she tells me. Um, I'm like, I don't know where to put this. I'm sort of like, ah, I'll put this here on this um, little bar stool I have here. All right, so what do I have? A white tank. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should be chatting about. Oh, this is very seasonal though, I have to say. This is Red Valentino. And this is kind of cute. This, this feels wet. I guess it's just cold. It is r super rainy. We can talk about the weather, I guess. It is super rainy here in New York right now. This is actually kind of nice and I don't see anything wrong with it. This sort of has, again, like a swimsuit vibe material my dog barks i'm sorry i should show you how cute he is and then you would like uh, be in love with his barks like i am we have a little papillon and he likes to bark at people walking by it's his entertainment so i excuse him in advance so that's cute red valentino a brand i don't know a tank not a swimsuit new with tags so not bad here's the rag and bone piece i saw this peeking out this is actually kind of cute too it's like a sweater, but it's, um, how would you say this? Perforated? What am I saying? Like it's porous. <laughs> it has holes. Um, oh, and it's kind of split in the back, which is nice. That makes it summery, like a summery sweater. It is, let's see what the size is. A medium, so not a bad size. I like the colors. I don't see any stains. It looks like it's cotton. I'm trying to look. Yeah, it looks like it's cotton. The tags are really hard to read. So I don't know if you guys can see this well. Maybe what I could do is this. I'm gonna move the items over, put this down, and then I can sort of hold it out like this. Oh yeah, that's better. Look at me learning. All right, yeah, so that's cute. All right, not bad. I definitely think I can get my money back for these. Rag and Bone is always questionable. Um, I don't even know if Beacon's here. Paco Roban, okay. <laughs> When I hear that, I think of bad cologne. Am I alone on that? But I feel like that's when I hear it. I'm like, oh, the, I see a flaw already. It's interesting. But it seems like, oh, it's a oh, it's gorgeous dress though. Okay. 
doesn't smell like bad cologne, <laughs> but is that, am, am I mistaken? Is that like a men's cologne brand? Like that's, look how gorgeous this is. All right, so this must be the back. This actually, I would take the time to fix. This looks like it's snapped, do you see this? Now this gray background works pretty well. It has three loops, a snap, the buttons are there. That's what matters, right? Because look at these gorgeous sort of spark sparkly buttons. And Paco Rabanne. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't say that without laughing. And it's this gorgeous, the sleeves. This looks teeny-weeny though. Does this have any stretch? It doesn't really have stretch. I don't see a size yet, but it's kind of gives me Betsy Johnson vibes with the cut. So I don't know if this is vintage, but I have to say I love this. This is gorgeous. I don't know how, I have to look up and see how this would do. Even with that minor flaw, okay, let's look for more flaws. Ah, missing button, no. Like, this one looks like it's kind of breaking. It's very strange. One button missing. These do feel wet. Oh, wow, that's annoying, because there's also, like, shoe, suede shoes in here. Mm, come on. Well, it is rainy. I can't blame anyone. All right. That's cute. I'm just looking at the zipper. I don't know if that looks like anything to you guys. I'm just testing things. Um, all right, that's interesting. I'm, I'm definitely like it. I don't know how it will do. I'm not wrong about things being wet in here, but I'm glad I got the box quickly. All right, so now we have some Ferragamos. These are cute. And that's so funny because I hear everyone say, oh, here are the Ferragamos in these, these um, boxes. But I think these ones with the bows do really well. I don't see a size. Oh, here's a size seven, so it's not a bad size. I don't see narrow. Let me check the other one. This did come off and it's a little dirty. I could glue that back on though. Let me see if the size is here too. Yeah, it's 7B, so they're not narrow, thank God. I feel like narrow's um, a little rough. So yeah, this bow, bonk. I can just hot glue that back on. I think I have a hot glue gun here. If not, I have one at work. They are a little dingy, but I know I like them. They're cute. All right, what else? I, so where are we at? Let's do a count. We have the Paco dress. <laughs> I'm sorry, see, I can't say it without laughing. One, two, three, three, four, five. So we have two more. Oh, Brian Atwood. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. So, okay, let me pull it out since I already said it. Brian Atwood, I just found, if you watch a haul, couple of videos back, last week I think, this past week, I found a brand new pair of boots by him. And I post that, I, they've gotten a little action already. I got them for 10 bucks at this really shady spot where I like to shop. Um, so I'm not super familiar with this. Oh, kind of beat, look at that, it's missing the thing here. But it's kind of this nice fuzzy pink color and I do like the strap, interesting. Uh, but I not, I'm comps were kind of all over, and these look small, 38, not super small. Yeah, so go back and watch that haul if you'd like. Um, and, but the boots are kind of cool. They're sort of gothic, or I don't know, they're intense. These are a little more understated, really fuzzy suede, though, and it did come with a dust bag. And then what's weird is that this one doesn't look in too bad of shape. Oh, there's, there's Aster. Ask her, please stop. I don't even hear anyone walking by. He's just like entertaining himself. At this point, maybe he's barking at the rain because it's coming down so hard. Okay, then I think, I am guessing, let's see if I'm right, the next thing is sunglasses. I hope it's a good brand. I'm just looking at it. I see the bubble wrap. I see some black silhouette that looks like sunglasses. Yeah, see what I mean? This is what I'm looking at, definitely. All right, fingers crossed for something good. I did get a pair of sunglasses in one of these that was, had big T's on it. And I remember thinking, if it's Talbot's, I'm gonna be annoyed, <laughs> it was Todd's. All right, Ooh, uh -huh. what do you guys, what's your guess? Let's see, Louis Vuitton, dang! All right, and they look like they're in good shape, okay. Do you think this saved the box? I'd love to know. I think this may have saved the box. It has the little emblems. Can you see that? Very tasteful. My husband might keep these. I might have to hide these. 
Um, yeah, these are nice and they're kind of aviator. I may have to throw these up instantly. I think this saved the box. I mean, the other stuff might do well, but this is good. Um, yay, okay. I think it's the best label I got by far. I mean, yeah, the other ones, some of them I don't even know. All right, quick recap, now that I wrap these up. Louis Vuitton sunglasses, not bad, I like. But a great shape, man, I wish it had a case. That would have been amazing. Ferragamo shoes. <laughs> Um, all right, Brian Atwood pink heels. This is the major flaw, otherwise they're not in horrible shape. A little fuzzy for suede though. Maybe that's what they were going for. I don't know. Okay, Paco Roban, Roban, Roban. Okay, I said it without saying. Oh, I never did find a size on this. Beautiful dress, I mean, beautiful. Uh, oh, a 38, there you go. Okay, kind of small, but I love the silhouette on this. Very. This would be great for a wedding. Okay, I need to get that up soon too. Are you guys feeling pressure to get stuff up for weddings? We had a year where we went to weddings nonstop. We went to one in China, Washington State, two in Boston. It was just crazy. I'm so glad to be done with wedding. One in the Berkshires. Oh, oh, what was that? Sorry, I'm just like yammering about my personal life. This is Rag and Bone. Um, oh, this is the Red Valentino. I think this is cute for summer. And I love that it has this little weighted thing, so it gives you this nice drop in the front. And I feel like this silhouette is really in right now. Okay, and this interesting swim, this interesting tank, which I would be semi-annoyed about, has this nice long tie in the back, but it's new with tags and the retail is that, 196. So, not bad. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. I did. Um, I don't quite know how I feel about it. Do a little research and I will get back to you guys, I guess. But those Louis Vuitton glasses, I think will pay for the box. I'm, I might even make a profit. I'd love to know what you think. I'm still learning. Help me, please. All right. Thanks. Bye.